Once in a while, you discover a place that's unspoiled and underdeveloped. This is one of the most spectacular mountains in America, Mount Timpanogos in Utah. With four chairlifts and a limited number of mountain inns, skiing is an amenity to a film and art institute. I skied here with the owner. The one with the hair is Robert Redford. We got to talking about our early days of skiing and how he got started. First time I ever skied was a disaster. It's a miracle I ever took the sport up at all, the way, my introduction to it. 20 years ago, he bought his first two acres here at Sundance for $500. And then it took three years to earn enough money to build a small summer house. Gradually, as his career prospered, he began buying the valley acre by acre, including a ski resort that he renamed Sundance. The question then was, how do you expand a ski resort without building condominiums? So Bob created a film institute, a community for the arts, acting, directing, photography, theater, dance. Working pros and independent filmmakers get together for four months every summer and blend cultural ideas with the harsh reality of the entertainment business. After eight or 10 runs, we went back up to his home, a home with a spectacular view of Timpanogos and his ski resort. While Bob made 19 phone calls, I thought about some of the things we discussed while riding the chairlifts. Then, looking more like Robert Redford, the Sundance kid, I spoke up. From time to time, you've been labeled a preservationist to a fault. I think instead, you should sell lessons on how to balance nature and business. How do you do it? It's a question of all these years trying to find a way to take the sport you loved in, in, a, in an environment you love mm -hmm. and preserve it, enhance it, and still do a, enough business so that you could keep it. And I think we found the answer. I'm pretty excited about it. How many days do you ski this winter? Not enough. Not enough? No. So how do you change that? Um, probably sell the area. <laughs> Go ski Vail or... Mm -hmm. So but that's not going to happen. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. I'll just get more next year. I was busy this year. I was in Africa uh, mm -hmm. most of last year, and then this year I was doing a film in New York and getting ready to direct a film in New Mexico. So <laughs> I'm hopeful next season, since I'll be editing films here, they'll be able to ski mm -hmm. more. I love it. With great scenery, great skiing, and no real estate development, what are you going to do when it gets crowded here? Turn the water off? Well, turning the water off would be a start. Put out the sign saying, danger uranium tailings in the river, okay. something like that. 